Asking you guys for your opinion on certain things is the way that you learn how your core audience and you are aligned. So in this particular fragrance, I get to see not only if we have the same taste in fragrances, but if you have wild recommendations that maybe I haven't explored yet. So on my community board, I typed up and asked you guys, what is the most interesting fragrance that you've experienced in 2023? Cause it's already the end of the year and I know you've gotten experience some of my recommendations and absolutely love them or discovered some new joints that haven't been showcased on the channel and I haven't smelled that are potentially amazing. So let's roll my music so I can put you on to 12 of the most interesting fragrances of 2023 viewers choice. <laughs> Blessing morning, my beautiful people. You know who it is. It's your boy, c 3 to be today. I hope you had an amazing year of fragrance exploration. We've gotten the opportunity to spray our plums with amazing scents. 2023 for me has been a super interesting year when it came to fragrances. You start to see this resurgence of new Middle Eastern clone houses emerging with really good quality. You're seeing more indie niche houses pop up with amazing scent profiles and individuality, creativity, amazing marketing, and this drive and hunger that really propels propels the fragrance space forward. And you've seen some of the big wigs step their game up and really keep the binoculars on deck to see what's going on in the horizon and how they're going to restructure their fragrances for 2024. Now there were a plethora of fragrances listed on the most interesting. So I narrowed it down to 12 viewer choice fragrances that I want to share with you guys. The first one being by the Elemental brand, which is a niche indie house. And that fragrance is Cashmere Sex. I mean, with the name of Cashmere Sex, you better bring it, Papo. Now what attracted me to cashmere sex is that it's a plum based fragrance but if you want to just merely categorize this as a plum based fragrance you're bugging this is candied plum beautiful soft cashmere style wool it's got an earthiness coming from fig but that fig still helps the sweetness of that plum add this little bit of more granular candy scent and then you got a buttery cottony smooth white musk in this scent it is creative it is unique it is ultra sexy, credible performance. And even in the short amount of time that the Elemental brand has been out, I already see the changes. I already see the mouse chasing the cheese. They're switching shit up crazy. They're coming out with more adventurous fragrances. So this being one of the most interesting fragrances of 2023 for my audience, I couldn't agree more. Next one. Now, Timothy on the community board said, Royal Tobacco is the most interesting fragrance that he's encountered in 2023, indicating that he received this in a sample box and was interesting from opening to complete dry down. But what caught my attention about this particular comment is that he's like, yo, I'm not even a fan of the House of Amouage, but this one was enjoyable through and through. Super pleasant and ultra sexy, and I couldn't agree more. This is probably one of the most incredible tobacco fragrances of 2023 slash 2022. This is an absolute beast of performance scent, unique wow factor. It's almost masterpiece level when it comes to the tobacco space. So Timothy, I couldn't agree more that this is beyond interesting. This is epic. Next one. Now, JTS said Altair made him or her say, wow. I think what might confuse people about this fragrance or potentially turn them off is that it does have this green medicinal essence to this that could be a little bit jarring for the minute or two that really lingers around the air. But the vanilla and musk presence of this fragrance is beautiful. It is a super unique, very dry, very musky, and almost too punchy at times vanilla scent. But it does not slack in likability, performance, or sillage. And when it comes to vanilla, this is a risky vanilla scent profile that I think Parfums de Mali really thought about adding some versatility to their collection and having this be like the Kalan of the vanilla space in their lineup because Kalan was an overly peppery kind of abrasive scent and this kind of has that when it comes to vanilla so Altair was JTS's most interesting fragrance of 2023 next one now Necro's clockwork indicated the following which definitely caught my attention and I put it in my notes to possibly check out Filippo Soricinelli's Quando Rapita in it's assy. The fuck does that mean? His entire brand is absolutely mind blowing. But that one specifically is the greatest thing I've ever smelled. Ooh, bold statement to say the least. I'm gonna have to get my nose on the fragrance. Now, truth be told, I Googled the fragrance and it kind of looks like a pair of vag lips and like aluminum. That shit is like crazy. It's like if Madonna showed off her love muffin in 1980 and had like a costume over it. It's like all lippy and whatnot. I 
This is, is one of the most best fragrances ever, and it seems to be a fragrance that's encompassed by a bunch of ambery essence, sweetness, and dryness. I don't know the fragrance. I don't know the house. I, at least I don't remember the house. But for you to say it's the most mind-blowing fragrance you've ever smelled, definitely caught my attention. Have y'all smelled anything from this house? Because clearly, it's in the space of the most interesting of 2023. Next one. Now, Rock said, Pegasus exclusive. The dry down is the best thing I've ever smelled. Sweet, dark, and woody. We can't forget Nutty. <laughs> it rhymes. Because the almond in here is boom bastic. But he did indicate that it has animalic tendencies. And I don't think I would put it in animalic, but I know what you're saying. Not on like fecal oud kind of smell animalic, but more like it's really loud, spreads far. It can be a little bit scratchy and slightly jarring. And Pegasus Exclusive definitely has that. But it's an incredible musky, dry, animalic as far as attitude is concerned in the almond space. I can't say I've shown a lot of love to this fragrance in 2023, but if you consider it your most interesting in 2023, who might have disagreed? What do y'all think? Next one. This one was a breath of fresh air. Kevino said Algabra Cuban Tobacco is one of the best tobacco fragrances that he's got. Now I don't have a full bottle, but I did have a sample. I did smell it and I did want to get a bottle and he just reminded me to get a bottle. It is an incredible hard tobacco fragrance. It is pure tobacco leaf. It is in the fields in its natural state. I feel like it has a minimal amount of sweetness in that tobacco fragrance, but the naturals, the leaf essence, the pure, if you've ever smelled pure tobacco, have you ever been in a space where a tobacco roller is rolling a cigar for you? You get that essence of that moist leaf. We're not talking about dry, cracky, broken. We're talking about moist, purest form, beautiful essence. That is a beast of a fragrance to the performance in Algabra's Cuban tobacco is wild. So I'm definitely not going to hold you. You reminded me that I need to get myself a full presentation because I thought I had it, but I don't. Thanks for the heads up. Next one. This one I absolutely love because it truly shows that it doesn't matter what price point you put on your skin, you can get compliments with just shower gel. Melodias Gaming said, this is going to be an odd one, but it's called Avon Individual Blue. Cost me $10. And I got so many compliments out of it that I couldn't believe it. You know who believes it? Me. Because compliments don't automatically equate dollar signs. It's your full fit. It's your presentation. It's how you carry yourself. The scent helps enhance those things and add a little bit of salt based salt without like the pH sweat of your arm hairs. <laughs> That's what fragrance is about. Fragrance is not the end all be all for you to absolutely drop them drawers. It has to be a whole thing. I've never encountered a woman that has just ripped her panties off just cause I smelled good. I mean, I might have, but I'm a sex symbol. That's not fair. I'm kind of a big deal. The common mere mortal man, that's never happened to them before. In all actuality, fragrance is something that we wear for fun. We help to boost confidence and no matter what, shouldn't be associated with any kind of price tag, naturals, clone, whatever. Whatever. Wear whatever you want, whenever you want, and act your wage. Stop spending crazy bread when you ain't got it. Your man got mad compliments for buying an Avon fragrance for $10. <laughs> Props to you, my friend. Now I want to smell it next one. Mr. Viva La Tang said, Tony Yomi Monkey Special is that crack. He said this fragrance is blended so well that it's a mind of deliciousness. Yes, the passion fruit, the rum, the uniqueness of this scent profile is what's taken everybody by storm. What I love is that people thought it was like YouTuber hype, like, ah, oh, that shit is whatever, da da da. And then they actually smelled it. Cause usually what happens in the commentary is people start talking all this yak and have never smelled 90% of the shit that we're talking about, but are quick to shit on it because somebody in front of the camera likes it. 2023 in the flesh. Welcome to 2023. This is crazy, wildly unique, and I don't know who Tony Iomi is. Well, I know now, but I didn't know who the hell he was and truly don't care. But if Zherzhov decided to collaborate with him and felt that this fragrance encompassed his whole aura, personality, his longevity and career as a musician, then damn homie, I wanna chill and rock with you. Cause this shit is definitely one of the craziest scents in my collection that I absolutely love. So interesting for 2023? Uh. Uh, yeah, next one. Now, interesting doesn't automatically mean, yo, I love it, or yo, it's sexy, or this shit is crazy. Interesting just means interesting. Yeah, have me for a sec. Now, Alan O'Reilly said, Orto Parisi, Cuomen, for me, man 
It's funky. I personally love it, he said, but I was told once that it smells like cow shit. Subjective when it comes to fragrances. Now, from my minimal experience with that house, they make grenade fragrances. I don't even know if you wanna call them fragrances at this point, cause some of these joints have like a seven month longevity on them that you just can't get rid of. We're talking about nuclear performing fragrances that aren't like, oh shit, this is the next Aventus, but it lasts six months. Nope, none of that. They're talking about rich, ultra dynamic, animalic, dark, mysterious, aggressive scents that are catered to a particular taste, a particular nose, a fucking vibe. Now he loves the fragrance, but he's also been told that he smells like shit. I mean, can you get more subjective when it comes to taste? One man's treasure is another man's excrement. Next one. Now I'm glad S. White brought up this fragrance because it is crazy. Day three fragrances, Ambar Dominicano. He says, I can't front on day three fragrances, Ambar Dominicano. That joint is up there with the Naxoses of the world. Very high praise because Naxos is incredible and I'm not gonna argue that commentary. This is absolutely up there in the type of quality, scent profile, warmth, sexy, sweetness. The amber in here is absolutely stellar, beautifully balanced. They knocked this shit out of the stratosphere. This is what I meant in the initial by these niche houses really coming out guns blazing, knowing that they have to come in at a very high level to get the attraction of these fancy audience members or even influencers slash content creators. And for me, they absolutely executed it and continue to execute it throughout the line of fragrances that they produce. So Amber Dominicano by day three fragrances, absolutely agree with you, Mr. White. Next. Bandit Biker came out of nowhere with this puppy. Fall of Phaeton by Argos? Yeah, this shit is crazy. Sweet, boozy, elegant, ambery, deep, sexy, warm, spicy, erotic, like it just makes her nipples hard, or it's just cold. Man, you got my nipples hard. Fall of Phaeton is a new acquisition within my collection and it is beautiful. I haven't been able to give it the wear that it truly deserves. I've only worn it one full wear and with that one full wear, I got it, I understood it and I'm like, yep, they did it again. It definitely has that Argos DNA. If you know the house of Argos, then you know what type of energy that they're on. They make these, these, these sweet erotic fragrances that really have this beautiful story of Greek mythology behind it. And this is absolutely up there with one of the most interesting of 2023. So yeah, good call. Next. So Sean brought up a very interesting fragrance and it just so happened that I picked up a sample from this fragrance line. But he's like, if you're into Prada Luna Rosa Black, then you definitely gotta try Armani's Ambre Eccentrico. Now I'm not personally familiar with that fragrance. I may have smelled it in my recent travels to the mall and smelling some Privé joints. As I told in the previous video that I found one of the craziest fragrances for me in 2023 and that will be listed next. That happens to be the Armani brand as well. Now according to Fragrantica, it is an amber fragrance with fruity nuances. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? Is it going to deviate from other scent profiles? We don't know unless we smelled it. Because a lot of these fragrances with their no breakdowns are gonna have a lot of similar attributes in different layers and different combinations, but not one is going to smell like the other. Two fragrances could have the exact same scent profile and no breakdown. Two completely different fragrances can have the identical no breakdown and still not smell like each other. So I'm gonna have to go back to Neem and smell that fragrance because as a fan of Prada Luna Rosa Black, definitely catches my interest. And that's been the 12 fragrances that you have found interesting for 2023. For me, I'm gonna throw a curveball in there since we're sticking with the Armani joint and say that Myrrh Imperial happens to be one of the most interesting fragrances that I found in 2023. Now for me, it's not the sex appeal factor of this fragrance, it's the mystery aspect. The fact that it does smell a little bit like a swampy ass on a church seat while the priest is just throwing that little joint with the fucking incense in it, you know what I'm saying, whatever that's called. It has a lot of spiritualism and depth in this fragrance. It is only catered for the winter, but this is a fragrance that gave me the effect of the, I gotta, like, I don't like to pay retail ever in life. That's just not my thing. I want to get at least 
$5 off, I don't wanna pay. I couldn't get the fragrance, it was discontinued, but it made me double back, I was like, shit. I even tried to buy the sample, as I previously mentioned in my review of this fragrance, but the guy was gracious enough to empty out the sampler and give me two, what are these, like five, six ml samples of this fragrance, and beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, definitely one of the most interesting for 2023, and an undiscovered fragrance hype that was gonna be difficult for one to get because it's discontinued and you're gonna pay premium dollars for it. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. What did you think of this list and what is the one fragrance that you found to be the most interesting in 2023? Leave it in the comments below or be sure to check out my community center right after you subscribe to see if you can add your 10 cents worth. I'm always putting up topics over there and questions for you guys to participate in these videos. Don't forget forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Let's get ready for 2024, baby, because I'm looking forward to what's yet to come. Smooches. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would...